So before I get started with the creative journaling session, I thought I'd give you a bit of an intro to how I'm going about it a bit differently. Usually I'll go through my whole stash and just use bits and pieces from anywhere and everywhere. But for this session, I'm actually gonna use the Daphne's Diary magazine. I was sent this magazine for free to share across my social media, but the type of magazine it is, I thought it'd be really good to show you how you can use it for creative journaling. So to give you a bit of an overview as to what the Daphne's Diary magazine is, it does have tutorials and how to's and stuff in here, but it also has a lot of decorative stuff. So for example, there's this page. This is a stencil that you can pop out. There's lots of like illustrations and bits pieces that you can use in projects. I love magazines like this because I'm not a massive reader, I don't like reading tons and tons of writing, but when there's things in the magazine that inspire me and make me want to be creative in my journals or in any other project, it definitely makes me want to read more. That's just how my brain works. There is tons in here that not only make me want to read but also make me want to use it and use it in my journals so yeah that's just kind of a flick through there's some cards there that you can cut out i mean this even i'm tempted to cut this out and use it somewhere in my journal so yeah what i'm going to do now is just use this magazine to create a journal um and show you how the page turns out pretty much i will leave some more information in the description on daphne's diary the magazine itself costs 5.99 but considering the amount of stuff that you get in here that you can actually use it is definitely one of those magazines that gives you more for your money if you are looking for a new creative magazine then this one is definitely one to consider but yeah i'm not going to ramble on anymore i'm going to get on with the journaling session So this is how it's turned out. I didn't really want to add a ton of journaling to this page and that's why I printed the photo quite big. In the tag at the bottom, all I'm gonna add is when the puppy is coming home. Yeah, other than that, all these bits and pieces in the background, everything I used was from the magazine. There's still a ton in here that I would use in other journaling spreads and other projects. So I'm gonna keep this on my shelf with all the other creative books that I've got and I will pick it out and use it every now and again. So yeah, like I said at the start, if you do want to find out some more about 
this magazine I'll leave it in the description so you can go have a look there I hope you enjoyed seeing this creative journaling session I thought it was something a bit different to do it this way and kind of give myself a challenge of just using the stuff in this magazine as always if you have any questions about anything that I've mentioned in this video then let me know down below and I will do my best to get back to you thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video